Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and I'm a makeup artist from New York and I'm here to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on various tips, techniques, and tips and tricks. And today I have another ColourPop video for you guys. I did pick up the big box of lippy sticks from ColourPop Cosmetics. <laughs> I was searching online for different videos for this and there were a few but like I didn't feel like they were the perfect video So of course, I'm gonna come and make my own video I did want to pick this up because yes, of course as a makeup artist This offers a lot of colors a lot of shades and a lot of different finishes too from the brand And I know they have very good formulas and very good color payoff too. So yeah, we're gonna dive right in I'm gonna swatch every single one of these so Hopefully, if anybody wants to pick up any shades in this box or the whole collection itself, they know what it brings and what a makeup artist thinks about it too. So if you guys want to know about these lippy sticks from ColourPop, make sure you guys keep on watching. Make sure you leave a comment down below what you think of this video and make sure you hit that thumbs up button for that YouTube algorithm and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already and make sure you hit that post notification icon so you are notified every single time I drop a brand new video. But yeah, let's get right into this box. It comes with this many shades. It comes with a bunch of nudes, uh, pinks, reds, and like darker reds, and especially berry colors too, everything in between. 48 shades again too. And this is what ColourPop's lippy stick looks like. They're white, but it does say the shade on the bottom. And then they just say ColourPop lippy stick. And they look like this come with this much formula in each one so it's a pretty good amount so this retails for $115 on ColourPopCosmetics.com however it is on sale right now for $100 so I did go ahead and pick it up it is sold out as of right now but it's always sold out pretty much and they just keep on restocking it but yeah let's get right into it I'm just gonna take off what I have now so Getting right into the big box of lippy sticks, we're gonna start off with the first shade called Dream Date, and it's a creme formula. It looks like this. It's a first nude in the box. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. I've never tried this formula, so let's see. The formula is very similar to the video I just did on Sophia Nygaard's lipsticks with ColourPop. Very similar formula, very creamy. Um, This shade's definitely not for me. I look like I'm dead right now. <laughs> But they're really, really good so far. Like I would, if I were to be wearing this, I would have no problem with it at all. It smells a little um, lipsticky, like uh, how do I explain it? Crayony, but it's okay. Next we have Cookie, and this is a matte shade, and this is what this one looks like. It's again just many of the shades are just the next tone over. It's not like a huge difference. The mattes tend to be a lot harder when you're putting it on your lips though. Very creamy like the rest of ColourPop's lip. Another kind of those shades that I was saying in Sophia's collection that is almost like your lips but better shade. It's um, you can't even really tell that you're kind of wearing it, which is really nice. That's what some people prefer. Next we have Slacker and another creme <laughs> formula. <laughs> this is more of a pinky tone nude. For the creme formula, heat tends to really help bring out the color in that formula so rubbing your lips you know bringing out the color you guys already know what I'm gonna say <laughs> another your lips but better, better shade they are really are like not to say they're not pigmented because they are they're just really your lips but better they're really just doing a good job at formulating here besides the shades that make me look dead none of them are like anything crazy so far next we have Oh snap in a matte shade already another shade. That's just your lips, but better literally all the comments are gonna be like all the shades look so nice on you But no, this one's good too. This one's they're like hitting all of these shades right on the nail like what? They're hitting right. They're hitting all these shades right on They're finessing all these shades <laughs> next we have Parker in a matte shade another one that I think is like your lips but better <laughs> Just all of them just not my shade particularly Next we have at Twilight and this is another creme. I think the cremes are my favorite formula from them. They're just super, super creamy and they glide on so easily. This is another great coral shade as well. Next we have with the band and this is matte X. I'm not sure what that means. We're about to find out. Maybe it's like matte X, like collaborating with somebody with matte. 
Matt collaborating with Matt. Oh, whoa, I like this formula. This one glides on similar to the creme. It's not like the matte regular that's super dry. This one's like creamy as well, but then it's like matte after. It gives you some time to work, you know? Well, I'm really liking this one too. Okay, next one. Next we have Topanga, and this is in a satin shade. We haven't tried this either. This is what this looks like. I really like this shade already, what it looks like, so I have high hopes. They all smell like nothing. I like the satin formula too. <laughs> This one's nice too. Topanga's doing it for me, definitely. So that was the first row of the box. We're going on to the second row now out of uh, six rows. This is gonna take me so long. Please pray for my lips. Leave a like down below for this video. <laughs> Next, we have Aquarius, and this isn't a cream. Looks like I'm dead, but love the formula. <laughs> it doesn't look like I'm dead dead, but I don't know if it's, hmm, I don't know. They all look the same to me at this point. Next, we have Gami, and this is a matte X again. Is it this one looks like? It's between the satin or the matte X that has the best color payoff, but there's another berry type shade. This one's really nice too. They're all really nice. <laughs> I'm waiting to find the bad shades. Next we have Lumiere, and this is a matte. Looks like this. I like this one too. This one's really nice. This one's like a nice berry shade. Next we have Happy Thoughts, and this is another matte shade. Just a, a hint of a darker berry. Personally, the matte um, formula for me is too dry. See, it's like I already have lines and I just put it on. <laughs> just way, way, way too dry. Nice colors too dry, but that's just this one. I'm not saying all the mattes, but this specific one, the Happy Thoughts, too dry. Next, next we have Byron Babe in matte X, and this looks like this. This one's a nice shade too. It looks like I just drank all the Kool-Aid, but it looks nice. Next, we have Brink, which is another matte shade. This one looks like this. You see, this matte's not bad. This is, like, now one of my favorite shades. <laughs> this one's really nice. Like, this one's really, really nice. Next, we have Aftershock in Matte X. Oh, God. It looks like this. I like it. <laughs> yeah, this one's nice. They are very nice. <sighs> Let's take an exfoliation break. Next, we have Little Tings in Creme. This one looks like this. This is Little Tings pink tone one. <laughs> now we're going into the next row, starting off with Heart On, and this is a matte shade. Looks like this. This one's a good matte. <gasps> and it doesn't stain, look at that. <laughs> Next we have Westy, and this is another matte shade. This one's almost like a, a little bit more of a muted pink. This is what this one looks like. <laughs> Next we have Goodie Bag, and this is another matte shade. I think I like this pink more than the last one. Or maybe I'm just saying that. <laughs> this went from really nude to really pink really quick. Next we have Casanova, and this is a creme formula. Finally, one of my favorite formulas. This is what this one looks like. What do you guys think about Casanova? Next, we have Songbird, and this is a matte shade. This one looks like this. This is that shade. This one's really nice, too. Next, we have Cherry Bomb, and this is another matte formula. This one looks like this. This one's really nice. We're just getting more pink here. <laughs> Next, we have Are You Surreal, and this is another matte. This one looks like this. This is very nice too it's funny because i'm just making a mess everywhere next we have runway and this is matte x that's what it looks like this one is really nice too this is the last one of that row that was all the pinks now we're going to go into the reds first one of the third of the fourth row is i love this and it's a matte shade this one's nice too of course next we have jam sesh and this is another matte shade it's like that. This one's really nice too. Next, we have Skywalking, and this is a matte X. This one's really nice as well. Next, we have Trust Me, and this is a matte X. Looks like this. I really like this one too. Next, we have Love Life, and this is another matte X. It's like a more orangey red shade. <laughs> Next, we have Parachute, which is another matte X shade. This one looks ridiculous on me. This looks like I'm the Joker. Shade for everybody. Next, let's go into Day Trip, and this is a matte shade. I can't even open them anymore at this point. 
and this one is a really nice shade as well and last but not least for the red shades we have chi chi and this is a matte shade so like this my bottom lip isn't even taking pigment anymore at this point but this is the last row of that shade excuse the red on my face from the red lipsticks let's continue into the darker nude portion let's see how long are my lips can hold up first we have who runs this in matte x looks like this not a shade i would necessarily reach for but it does look really nice next we have ziggy in a matte x this one looks like this my mirror was backwards <laughs> again not a color i would reach for but it looks nice next we have fly fi and this is another matte x shade looks like this I really like this color. This is a really nice color. Next we have Goldie and this is another matte X shade that I cannot open. Looks like this. This one's really nice too. Really deep but really nice. Next we have Poison. This is a matte. Oh, this is another nice one. Next we have Bichette and this one's a matte shade. Looks like this. That one's really nice too. Next we have a layer and this is a matte shade. This one looks like this. This is a deep one as well. And the last shade in this row, Infinite Best, and this is a matte X. Looks like this. It's just keep getting dark. <laughs> last row, we have thousand percent matte X. This is pretty much straight up just a brown. <laughs> That's what it is. Next we have Daydream and this is a matte X shade as well. Okay, Daydream, and this is a matte X shade as well. I don't really feel like this for my skin tone color, but it's nice. Next, we have Grunge, and this is a matte shade. This one doesn't even really come up on me. It's nice though. Next, we have Taurus, and this is a matte shade. Looks like this. <laughs> this looks like a poop color. <laughs> Can I say that? It looks gross. I don't like this one. Let's keep going. We're almost at the finish line, guys. My fingers are red and I can't feel my face. Number, number, <laughs> candy paint, matte X. I can't open them. <laughs> this one looks like this. I like this one. This is a really nice nude, especially for my skin tone color. This is like perfect spot on. Next we have Girl Gang and this is a matte shade. Oh God, I almost broke the table. There's a matte shade, looks like this. Again, in my opinion, a perfect matte for my skin tone. It looks a perfect matte, a perfect nude for my skin tone. <laughs> I'm just getting dumber by the minute. <laughs> to date, the longest video I've ever recorded. Please leave a fucking like. Next, we have Capiche, and this is a matte X shade. Looks like this. For me, this is that your lips but better shade. This is like perfectly my lip shade. So you can't even tell that I'm like wearing it. <laughs> and it's so creamy and nice. I like it. This one's like one of another one of my favorites. This one's really nice. And last but not least, Gold Digger in Matte X. And this is the last lippy stick in the whole box. And another one of those your lip but better shades. Just a nice pinkish nude. And that is it for the whole color pop lippy stick collection. <laughs> Here's like a few. I'm gonna put them all back so you guys can see them back in the box. This is the whole color pop lippy stick collection. It retails for $100 right at the moment. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and me putting my lips through the biggest torture I have ever endured. <laughs> Make sure you guys check out Think of the Podcast. I'll leave the link in the description down below. It is my podcast. It has an episode weekly. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode on my channel of ColourPop. Please leave a like down below. <laughs> Let me know what you guys want me to do next, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh. I'm a makeup artist from New York. I'm here to give you guys my thoughts and opinion on various products, techniques, and tips and tricks as well. Today, we're going to be doing a review on a few ColourPop collections that I picked up. Anyways, 
I do have a few collections to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on today from ColourPop so make sure you keep on watching to see what I think. Make sure to leave a comment down below what you think about this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for that YouTube algorithm and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already and don't forget to hit that post notification icon so you are notified every single time I drop a brand new video. But yeah, let's get it right into it. So I picked up the Safia Nygaard X ColourPop lipstick collection and this includes six lipsticks as you can see here and we have the shades bikini bottom <laughs> mrs norris bury me in lipsticks fred screamer and brucey and these are all cruelty free from colourpop you know all made in the usa so the whole kit retails for $46, so each lipstick is about $7.60 for from ColourPop, which is a pretty good price, but yeah, let's get right into it. We're gonna just swatch them and everything like that on my hand. Uh, I don't, should I, I'll put them all on, fuck it, right? I mean, it's a lipstick collection, might as well. Let me just get a makeup bag. <laughs> so, we got six lipsticks in the collection. We're gonna start off with the first one. Well, actually, let's go into the component. I think the component looks awesome. They're like these little silver bullets, and they're so heavy, and I love that. I love when something feels weighted, because it just feels like more quality. And yeah, it's really nice. It has a nice click, and this is, this is Bruce. And look how much product you get, pretty nice. And yeah, the components overall, it's not magnetic, but it is very, very nice, very compact. And it does say the shade at the bottom, Bruce, right there. All right, here we go. First swatch on my hand. Oh, wow. 